Good evening. For the past 17 years, our signature fundraising event, Autumn Night Out, has raised nearly half a million dollars for hospice care in our communities. The generosity has been humbling. As a healthcare provider during this public health emergency, and always, keeping our communities healthy and safe is most important to us. As such, our volunteer committee has created a safe virtual event. We know it won't be the same as in years past when we can join together, but the need is certainly not diminished. And we trust that your enthusiasm and your support will neither be diminished. Tonight, I welcome you to Autumn Night Inn. I'd like to thank the Autumn Night Inn Committee, led by Chairperson Becky Conrad, and supported by our generous sponsors, including TD Bank, our auction sponsor, and Androscoggin Bank, our host sponsor, as well as all sponsors and businesses who have generously donated to make this year's fundraising event possible. Before our auction officially opens for bidding, we'll devote a special paddle raise to support the Hospice House Kitchen renovation project. After lots of loving use by nearly 7,000 families, the kitchen will be renovated to increase seating, create a private family area, and to improve safety and efficiencies. I'm excited to announce that the kitchen will be named Karen's Kitchen, honoring Karen Flynn, retired Androscoggin Director of Hospice and Palliative Care Services. Karen was the first supervisor when the hospice house opened in 2005. As a hospice pioneer, hospice care became better understood and more utilized in Maine by families because, Karen, because of Karen's advocacy. We thought it was fitting to name the kitchen after her. Karen is featured in our Autumn Night Out video as well as Carmen Butterfield who shares her unique family story. I think you'll agree that this is a very special project worthy of your support. Whether you are dressed formally or casually, tuxedos or loungewear. We invite you to join us in the same spirit as past live events. Translated for auction purposes, that is an invitation to bid often and generously. Thank you so much for joining us. I'd like to welcome Michael Chamberlain from TD Bank. Thank you, Ken, and welcome everyone. TD Bank is a proud sponsor of this year's Autumn Night Inn. Tonight we're here to raise funds for hospice care and to renovate a new kitchen at the home. Please join us in your support. Thank you. And now I'd like to welcome CEO of Androscoggin Bank, Neil Kiley. Thank you, Michael. Androscoggin Bank is a proud supporter of Autumn Night Out. It's an opportunity for us to come together to demonstrate our support for hospice care in our community. And we are pleased to continue that support tonight with tonight's virtual event, Autumn Night In. Now, collectively, we've all experienced a major healthcare crisis, and we have watched as our frontline medical professionals have worked tirelessly to keep us all safe, including putting their very own lives at risk. We are incredibly grateful to Androscoggin Home Healthcare and Hospice for their team of skilled and compassionate professionals who provide patient care both in home and at Hospice House itself. On a daily basis, they serve over 2,000 patients, which is simply staggering. Now, because we understand the critical need for hospice care in our community, in 2020, a new fundraising project will be launched. I'm pleased to introduce a short video to tell you more about it. I hope that you'll be equally inspired and encouraged as you watch it to support this critical mission. Thank you. John was my second son. And when he was born, he ended up having a very rare birth defect. I was told most likely he wasn't going to make it through the night, um, and he did. They asked me if I was willing to learn to take care of him and take him home. I'm like, yes, he's my baby. He's coming home. Sean, actually, he, he really loved life. Um, he had a dog, and he really loved the dog. He liked to spend time with his brother, his older brother Ryan, playing guitars and dressing like him. He loved everyone he met. He was very friendly and silly. The last time 
I was in the hospital with him and he's sitting on the bed and he looks at me and he did sign language and he, he signed again, no more, all done, no more. And I actually sat on his bed because I got it. And I said, do you want to go to heaven with God? And Sean shook his head, yes. When I drove up to the hospice house, what crossed my mind was, this is real, this is it, this is the end. When I um, walked in the doors and came into the hospice house, and got into Sean's room, it was almost like it was a whole new world. I knew that I was coming back. I knew this is where I belonged. I always had a fear of hospice before because I never really experienced it or been through it. And going through hospice with Sean opened my eyes to what it really is. And I'm like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. It's a loving, caring, peaceful, confident place to be. The Androscoggin Hospice House would not be here today if it weren't for the engagement and the involvement and the commitment of the community in designing a place where end of life can be eased, where it can be a respected medical process, but also a really human process at the same time. A hospice is an organization of people that take care of the families and those people that are passing. And it allows the families and those that love this person to enjoy their company, to make memories, um, to be with them. The heart of a family and the heart of a home is a kitchen. The aspects of this home, whether it be a bed or one of our patient rooms or the living room or the kitchen, all need the continued support of our community. Hospice care is not just another medical model. It is a holistic model that includes and really prioritizes the patient and family experience. I have a lot of great memories of how the kitchen and the living spaces played into the overall experience for families. When Sean was going through a lot of the medical challenges that he had, my family, we spent a lot of time at our house around our kitchen table, talking in discussion about what was happening. This kitchen has been well loved and well used over many, many years. And it's time that this poor little kitchen get a, a refresh. And so my ask to the community is really uh, you've embraced us so well over the years that continue to support us in creating the heart of our home here at Androscoggin Hospice House. Hi, I'm Cindy Robbins, and I'm inviting you to help us renovate the Hospice House kitchen. No gift is too small. Please help us. Thank you. Good evening. We're Paul and Julie Anderson. I am really proud to be a member of the Board of Directors of Androscoggin Home Health Care and Hospice, also Chairman of the Board of our Foundation. This is a really important evening for us. It's completely different this year. I've always felt that this event was one of the premier social events of the season in our community. It's a who's who of people in our area who come together to benefit essential workers and the people who they care for. You may not know this, but last year, Andrew Skagen provided $1.6 million of free care because we provide care even for those who cannot afford to pay. Your generous donations tonight will benefit many people in our community and essential workers who are doing the work each day to keep us safe, even during this 
incredibly tragic pandemic. Additionally, today we're going to have a significant opportunity. The hospice house has a kitchen. The kitchen needs to be renovated. As you know, a kitchen is the heart of any home. And there's no better way I can explain this than a short story. A friend of mine recently talked to me about his mother-in-law being at Androscoggin Hospice House and the fantastic care that they had there. And one day, they were able to have all the children and grandchildren there together for a final meal that was provided through this kitchen for their family. It was a wonderful experience for them. It really humanized the whole situation. So, we raise a glass. We'll have some fun tonight too, okay? Bit often, bit generously. Have a great night.